Hello ladies and gentlemen and today I'll tell you the story of Reading Abbey ruins. So without further ado, let's go and explore. In this piece you'll see the Reading Abbey ruins, beautiful Forbury gardens, both in the first rays of the sun and in the midst of white winter. You'll see the historical Reading prison and the newest addition, the masterpiece by Banksy, painted on one of its walls. You will see a very quirky place rarely seen by tourists, the ruins of an ancient mill. Reading Abbey used to take a massive, massive amount of space in Reading. So uh, the gardens that you see right here, the glorious, glorious gardens you see behind me were a part of its territory as well. So obviously now things have changed and all you can see is little pieces of ruins, little, uh, little old memories, so to speak, of the place. But let's go and find out more and see what the beautiful, beautiful uh, ruins of the Reading Abbey look like. Reading Abbey ruins is a historical place, but the history doesn't go centuries deep. I'm sure, just like with my early memories of the place, every Reading resident would have their own story and their own memory of the place too. Why is it a ruin? Walls are so robust and nobody builds like that anymore. Well, the story begins in 1121, when the abbey was founded by Henry I. At a time, it was one of the largest royal monasteries in Europe. In 1135, when Henry I died in Lyon la Forêt in Normandy, his body was returned to Reading. Being a large royal abbey, it was visited by kings, but most notably King Henry III visited Reading Abbey three or four times a year. Each visit lasted several weeks. The abbey, however, was destroyed in 1538 during the Henry VIII dissolution of monasteries. Hundreds of religious houses were dissolved across the country and that is why the place is now a ruin. What hundreds of years ago was once a mill is now a beautiful, beautiful ruin. Just look at how gorgeous it looks like, how it overarches the, the brook. And not many people know about it, but I personally think it's a really, really gorgeous, gorgeous ruin. It never really ceased to amaze me that some uh, castles and some uh, ancient, ancient places are preserved as a ruin. I think it's quite, quite incredible to be honest, so that we can marvel the beauty of what they look like, even though they were destroyed, even though they were ruined. But look at this fantastic, fantastic beauty behind me. That is absolutely inspirational. And of course, I'm blessed with a sunny day today, but even on a winter day, even on a foggy day, especially when it's snowing, the gardens behind me are absolutely incredible. So here is what it looks like in the snow. And 
right behind me you see the famous Reading prison where Oscar Wilde spent quite some time and this is where he produced some of his masterpieces. It's quite incredible to see that this prison right behind me is bordering with this incredible and magnificent ruin but it's not just about the history, it's not just about the past. Fairly lately, well in relative terms of course, uh, Banksy produced a masterpiece which we're about to see very soon. Right next to the Abbey ruins stands Reading Prison, which was built in 1844, a true marvel of Victorian architecture. Oscar Wilde written the ballad of Reading Jail as he spent two years in that prison. On the night of 28th of February 2021, Banksy painted a mural on the prison wall showing a prisoner escaping using a rope made of bedsheets and a typewriter. A fine reference to Oscar Wilde and thought-provoking analogy of writing and escapism. The place is certainly very unique and very cinematic and that is why I've used it in my other vlogs where I was talking about Stonehenge for example. But look at the background, it's a perfect place for a photo shoot if you're a photo enthusiast. And isn't this a wonderful place to spend a quiet weekend and to learn about history and to relax. Thank you very much for watching this video and of course please like, share and subscribe to my channel to see more incredible places around the world, learn about different historical places and of course embrace the beauty of spiritual places too. And if you wish to support me you can always do so on coffee. Buy me a cup of coffee and until next time, see you later, bye bye.